Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to create this stylized 3D mobile animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects. And if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff in details, then don't forget to check out my logo animation masterclass course on Udemy, link is available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So first of all, here we are in Adobe Illustrator. I have this mobile illustration and there is something inside this. So you can easily get this kind of illustration from Freepik. I'll provide the link of this illustration in the description. So you can check it out or you can check it out uh, other illustrations of mobile. It's totally up to you. But link of this one is available in the description. Okay. Then after that, we have to do certain changes over here. So what you can do, I can select this mobile application. I mean this mobile hit ctrl x to cut it out create new layer and press ctrl shift v to paste in place then i am going to select this one right click and choose ungroup then again i'll select this white portion i'll hit ctrl x i'll create a new layer and i'll press ctrl shift v to paste in place like this okay then after that uh, select this stuff and let's bring this at the top over here or uh, instead of that what you can do you can simply select this one uh, and this entire stuff and hit ctrl x uh, create on this layer i'll press ctrl shift v and i'll select this layer because uh, in this video our main focus is on the 3d mobile and other stuff we are not going to animate this inside whatever it is uh, so if you see over here we have this one on separate layer and this body on separate layer so i'll select the second layer double click and let's call it as body select this first one and let's call it as screen okay and uh, now i'll save this illustrator file i'll go to the adobe after effects create a new composition let's call it as main animation width i'm going to choose 1920 height i'm going to choose 180 frame rate is 30 and duration we are going to choose let's say 10 or let's say 20 second long and background color choose white color and simply hit ok go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection then press ctrl i to import your illustrator file select your illustrator file go to the import as footage i'm going to choose composition return layers and sizes and simply hit import and simply bring this layer over here double click to open this hit ctrl k and let's call it as mobile and hit ok now select those layers convert those layers into 3d also click on this icon over here and now instead of active camera let's go to the custom view one and hit ctrl k to open the project settings and change the color to white so we can see easily now select this body press p for position and if you uh, decrease increase this value as you guys can see this is going backwards so this is what we want so what we are going to do we will alt click on this position and we'll type open bracket and square open uh, close bracket inside that type position and open and square bracket type zero after that a uh, comma again position open square bracket and oh, close square bracket type one after that comma position open and close square bracket type two after that type plus and type 3 star and we will type index okay so this this is the expression that we are going to need over here we will select this and we will hit ctrl d few times until we will get this proper extrusion over here okay so let's make this to active camera and if you want to see whether it's real or not simply right click new and create no null object convert this null object into 3d hit ctrl a select uh, ctrl a to select all of them and make it apparent with this null one and if you now select this null one and if you press r for rotation if you rotate it on y-axis as you guys can see we are getting this kind of 3d mobile 
but now what we are going to do instead of this first layer over here which is this one i'll select the second layer uh, fourth layer i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll apply fill effect double click to apply and change the color of this one to black and hit ok select this fill effect and hit ctrl c select all of this uh, remaining layers and hit ctrl v to paste it like this so if you zoom in a little bit as you guys can see color of this frontal layer is different and back layer is different okay let's make this active camera select this uh, null object let's make it zero rotation select this null object and we will delete it we don't because we don't need that now after that over here you can see we will get this option known as region of interest so we have to click on it and now uh, i'm going to create select this much portion over here like this and then we will go to the composition and over here we will type trim comp to work area or oh, no sorry or oh, we will choose this crop comp to region of interest so simply click on it so we will get the, this kind of stuff now go to the main animation and if you can see we will get this kind of thing select on this icon and convert this layer into 3d press s for scaling option and scale it like this or uh, let's uh, disable this icon and uh, change the conversion of 3d i'm going to select this hit ctrl d and let's move this layer over here over here select both of them and let's bring them downward select this hit ctrl d and let's move this over here like this select those three layers hit ctrl d bring them at the top and let's move them over something like this hit ctrl d again let's move them over here and let's bring them at the over here and let's try to move this something like this okay so this is how you will get now select all of them and convert this uh, layers into 3d we are not going to click on this icon at least for now we will do that later now press p for position over here and we will create one keyframe let's go somewhere around two seconds maybe and or let's say 1.15 frames create another keyframe now go to the start now uh, what we will do i am going to select these three layers and we will move this out of this composition so over here and let's bring these three layers at the top then i'll select these layers i'll bring them downwards and then move them over here out after this first three layers then select this three layers and we will bring them a little bit upward like out of this composition so if you see this now we will get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here so we will get something like this okay now press r for rotation and we need to check on which axis it's rotating yeah so we need to rotate it on y axis so let's create one keyframe at each y axis and hit u go over here create one keyframe again and go to the start and we are going to make it 45 like this if you want then you can again uh, increase a value a little bit light up to let's say 60 it's totally up to you now press r for rotation tool again select those keyframes and we will hit f9 so if you see now you will get something like this let's go to the graph editor select this rotation graph and we will move it like this so if you see now we will get something like this now obviously it should be animate one by one so hit u zoom in a little bit go to five frames select this middle one and move this over here go to 10 frames select this one uh sorry this one and move this over here oops i think we did something wrong let's move this over here go to 10 frames and this third one should be over here then it will animate one by one okay same procedure we need for this ones also after this one this middle one should be over here then at this point this one should be over here and all of this three should be uh, somewhere around over here like this then go to the one second select this one move this over here go to 
over here this middle one should be over here I mean this one go to the 10 frame this one should be over here I think we need to adjust it something like that okay so if you see this animation now you will get something like this okay right click new and create one camera and angle of view make sure that it's 10 and simply hit ok and right click new and create one null object and convert this null object into 3d select this camera make it a parent with null object select this null object press r for rotation we need to rotate it on minus 45 or let's say plus 45 rotate it on uh, y axis and then on z axis let's make it y45 also okay now press s and decrease the scale somewhere around like this and if you think that this is fast so simply you can hit u and you can select the last keyframes and you can move them a little bit forward so it will animate a little bit slowly it's totally up to you okay then after that right click create new and create one null object and convert this null object into 3d select this null object simply hit enter and let's call it as mobile controller select all of this mobiles and make it apparent with this null select this mobile controller press p create one keyframe and let's move this on y axis if you want then you can move this downwards also so we will get these two keyframes and move one keyframe over here and move one keyframe to five frame so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation okay and then after if you select all of this mobile and if you click on this icon it will take a little bit time to load but as you guys can see now you can see those stuff in 3d world let's make this quarter resolution so it will animate a little bit faster like this okay then go somewhere around at this point and let's make this whole resolution and also place ctrl y to create one solid background and let's bring this at this backward like this uh, and let's hide this null objects and also disable this title selection so we can see properly and if you want this is a extra step you can simply hit double a and you can enable depth of field also uh, let's make this third resolution and you can increase the aperture to 200 and let's make the focus distance to 5000 and let's see what will happen let's make this to 10,000 or I think uh, this not gonna look good and it will take a little bit time and heavy also so let's disable this depth of field instead of that if you want to add a little bit extra strap then you can select any one of them for example like this you can go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect to apply and let's enable this icon over here so we can see this only let's select this increase the distance to 25 increase the softness to 200 and change the angle over here opacity to 20 like this and select this drop shadow and hit ctrl c select all of these layers and hit ctrl v to paste it so we will get this drop shadow also okay so this is how you can create this kind of 3d mobile animation inside of after effects